right, welcome to Tasty Thursday. You might notice that we're not in the kitchen. Today we're having a taste of a different kind. Today we're going to be making a craft that only people with very good taste, excellent taste even, would think to make. So there's a very special person in my life who's having a birthday soon, and so I wanted to make something very special, but something that's fairly inexpensive since it's not gonna be the main gift. This is just instead of regular wrapping, this is a different way to wrap a present. So what you're going to need is we're going to make a fancy vase. So what you're going to need is just a glass container. I've got a round one and I've got um, kind of a taller cylinder one. And then you need rubber bands. So I've just taken rubber bands and just stretched them around to make a pretty design. So the next thing I'm going to do is spray paint it. So you need to do this outside. You might need an adult to help you with this part. So you shake up your spray paint and you can use any color you want. I'm using silver spray paint today just to be extra fancy. Okay, so you're going to turn your vase upside down. Just do a little test. Shake it up really well. Okay, so I'm going to hold it like this to get the top of the vase and you just do a few short sprays. just to get the top. Okay, and then I'm going to lay it down and spray the rest. Might have to move around a little bit. Now we'll do this one around the top. And you can put as much paint or as little paint as you want totally creative and up to you. That's the fun part about this project. Okay, that's it. So now we need to just let this dry for a little while. And I got some on me, if you can see that. So I'm going to go wash my hands and then we'll come back and check on this later. Hi, welcome back. Today we're in yet another location. Today we're in my dining room, which I'm using today as my craft room. So I let our vases dry overnight, so they're dry and picking them up and getting no paint on my hands. So what we want to do next is we're going to take these rubber bands off. You can um, just kind of put your finger underneath and they should just come right off. If they don't come right off, I'll show you what you can do next. You can just lift it up just a little bit and take a pair of scissors and just cut the rubber band and that works. And then you have everywhere the rubber band was is still clear, but everywhere else is this beautiful silver color. Can you see that? Doesn't that look nice? Okay, we'll do our next one. And I'm going to just pull these off. This is a great way to make an inexpensive gift for someone, or like I'm doing, using it instead of wrapping paper. Because everybody just throws wrapping paper away, but this is the kind of wrapping paper that can be used again. Okay, so here is our round face. Doesn't that look beautiful? Very fancy. Okay, so inside our vase, we're going to put our gift. So this is the gift, so I'm, we're going to use this smaller container. So I'm going to just put the gift right inside here. You can see it goes right down in the hole. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is a little piece of styrofoam, and I just broke off a piece of styrofoam. Um, you can cut it to whatever size you want, whatever size you need. You're not going to see it, so it doesn't have to be a clean cut. It can just be kind of chopped off, which is what I did. Okay, so um, as you can see, I've made a few tissue paper flowers already. That's what we're going to use to put down inside here to hide the gift, so that when the special person opens their gift, this is what they will see. Isn't that beautiful? Wouldn't you love to have a gift like that instead of just a plain old box um, covered with wrapping paper? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make tissue paper, flower, tissue paper flowers. And as you can see, I've already made some samples over here and we will get to those in just a minute. Okay, so today I am using what's called crepe paper tissue paper. And I had never seen this before. This was new for me. Um, but I tried it and it works really well. It gives an interesting texture and makes the flowers look a little bit more real. So what you're going to do is just cut a piece of tissue paper. This is about 10 inches, but you can just do whatever size you want. 
Um, the larger the piece of tissue paper, that means the larger flower you're going to get. Another factor to consider is that the more layers you put of your tissue paper, that's the, um, your flower is going to be more puffy depending on the number of layers. So what I'm going to do is cut this in half and we're going to have a four layered flower. Some of you can do the cutting yourself, some of you might need help. Okay. And as you can see, I didn't cut in straight lines and that's okay. So what you're going to start out doing is you're going to layer your four pieces of tissue paper and then we're going to just fold these and it's called accordion style. So what you do, and I'm doing about a half an inch fold. So I'm going to fold it over and smooth it out and then flip it over and fold back the other way. So you just go back and forth. It's really easy. You might need a little bit of practice your first time, but it's, it's very simple once you've done it a few times. Okay, so you just want to smooth that down. And then I like to trim my edges up. So I'm going to just cut my edges, just hold it in the middle just like that. I'm going to cut my edges kind of into a circle. And again, this doesn't have to be a very accurate circle. See, mine is not really exactly circular, um, but it, it's better. And it'll look beautiful once they're all feathered out to look like flower petals. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take a pipe cleaner. And for this size flower, I like to use the skinny size. All your, and you can use any color. Pipe cleaners come in lots of different colors. I just happen to be using green today. Um, if you're using a really dark color flower, you might want to get like a dark brown or a black um, just so you don't see it. But if you want to see the green, that maybe helps it look a little bit more real. Okay, so you just take your pipe cleaner and you're going to just lay it against your tissue and just fold it back over so that the bottom edge comes down and you're going to just twist it. And you're doing this just so the tissue paper doesn't come apart. Okay, so this is what your flower should look like now. Okay, you can see all these different layers. These are our folds. This is why it's important to fold it. So what we're going to do now is just start peeling these folds apart. Now because it's paper, sometimes it tears. That happens to me and that's okay. You can always, see I just tore that one. We can always twist our flower and shape it so that that doesn't show. But sometimes that happens to real flower petals too, so that's maybe okay. Tissue paper is a really inexpensive craft item and you're limited really only by your creativity. You can get tissue paper in pretty much any color you can imagine now and they, it even comes in patterns as I have some like this. So you can make some really beautiful creations. See how my flower is coming together? And all I'm doing is just pulling these layers apart. And I'm grabbing this top and just folding down very gently on the bottom. And you can pull down as far as you want or you don't have to pull down very far at all. Okay, almost there. Looking really good. Okay, just a couple more layers. This is a great way if you don't have any money but you want to give someone flowers, you can make them flowers. And then they don't die either, so that's a great way. They can keep them on display for a very long time. Okay, now look at this. Here is our finished purple flower. Doesn't that look beautiful? I think it looks great. Thanks for... Thanks for helping me on that from a distance. Okay, so what I'm doing, depending on the size of your vase, you would either leave this pipe cleaner straight and just drop it right inside a vase, but because my vase is short, I'm gonna, you can either cut it off, um, but what I'm going to do is fold it up and then just twist it around. That works just as well. This way, if the person who gets this flower ever wants to put it in a taller vase, all they have to do is fold that pipe cleaner down. Okay, so I'm going to take out my little foam block and I'm going to just stick the end of the pipe cleaner right into the styrofoam. And this just keeps it from going anywhere. I have to mail this um, little bouquet so it needs to be really sturdy to go in the mail. Okay, so then you just drop it right inside your vase. Looks very fancy, I think. Sometimes you kind of have to smooth it out a little bit again once you get it inside the base. And then what I did, when you've seen, um, 
when people in your family have gotten flowers, there's usually a little stick inside the flowers with a card on it that says who it's from. Well, I didn't have one of those, so I decided to make my own, and you can do the same thing. It's very simple. So all I did is took a little popsicle stick, and I took what's called a little binder clip. It uses to clip paper together, but it's got two little kind of wings on the side. So what I did is I put a dab of hot glue on the binder clip, and then I stuck the popsicle stick on it, and now it's kind of my very own flower stick. So then I just printed out a little card, signed it, and you just clip the card right inside the binder clip. And then all you do is just put this right down inside. And you might have to kind of arrange the flowers to hide some of the, the flower pick, but you can certainly do that however you want. So this is how our gift will look when our recipient gets it. Isn't that beautiful? Wouldn't you love to get that? Okay, now I'm going to show you um, some ways that you could dress up this other fancy vase. So I've made a few samples here. Tissue paper flowers are really easy to make and you can do lots of things with them. In fact, I didn't make one of these samples, but I just thought of this idea that I don't know why you couldn't take this one that I've made here. And what I did with this is I took some of my striped tissue paper and some of my white tissue paper and when I was laying it out before I folded it, I just alternated. So I did a sheet of white and a sheet of striped. And this is what I came up with. And I think it's really beautiful. So you could put this on top of a gift or in a vase, but you could also put it on a headband. If you have a little bobby pin or clip, you could clip it on your headband and wear it in your hair. That would be really fancy. You could do lots of things with that. Okay, so um, here are other few examples. I've done some other purple ones, and this is an example of, I only used one piece of tissue paper, so this is the big kind of flower if you get just one, use just one piece of tissue paper, this is the size flower that you get. So you can be super creative. And then here is a little display that I did, and I used lots of white tissue paper, and I used two pieces each on the brown, and so this is the size you get with the brown. And what I did on the white, is I took the um, pipe cleaner bottoms and twisted them all together and then put them inside this vase and they stay much better and then I decided to just put the brown right on top and that makes a nice little display too. So what we're going to do with this one and again you can use any color tissue paper that you want so if you wanted to do a spring which we're in spring now. If you wanted to do a spring bouquet for your table or for the, your bedroom next to your um, bedside table, you could do that too. So you would just take this little base and I've done just a couple of extras. And this, I did one. I used three pieces of tissue paper and I just did white. You could also sprinkle a little bit of glue on here and do glitter or if you have little um, stick on gems, you could do that. You could dress it up any way you want to. And all I'm doing is just there's nothing in here, it's just my vase, and I've got my pipe cleaner stem. I'm just putting it right inside the vase. And look at that, doesn't that look nice? So, we've got our little spring bouquet, but what if you want to decide you want to give someone roses? What if your dad wants to give your mom roses? This is a great way to make beautiful flowers. So what I did is I took four pieces of red and I just twisted them together, put the pipe cleaner on the bottom. I'm going to drop them right in this little vase. And see what a difference it makes just using a different color tissue paper? It's beautiful. So like I said, your only limitations really are your creativity. So I hope you enjoyed this craft and I look forward to seeing what you're all making with your tissue paper. It looks good enough to eat, but don't!